Hello, I'm Jerry Roman and welcome back to my channel. Solar stocks are on fire and today we're going to cover the 10 hottest solar stocks. I have a huge announcement for you and I'm going to cover the three buy signals I have on each of the major indexes. Let's start off with a huge announcement. Drum roll. I now have a Discord channel for you. Let's go over the five parts of the Discord channel that I think are going to help you become a better investor. Number one, we've got a stock market channel where you can talk about anything you want concerning stocks. Number two, we've got a channel dedicated just for Tesla. Number three, we've got a war room for you to trade your winning and losing trades. Number four, we've got a memes channel, and that's just because I like to have something to laugh at. And number five, we have a member-only Patreon channel for advanced stock talk and analysis. The link is in the description below and you want to jump on board while it's still open. On my YouTube channel, you know I'm short and to the point and I hate to waste time, so right after the intro, we're going to jump into some technical analysis and go over the three buy signals I have on each of the major indexes. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only, so grab a cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. And check out this beautiful cup of coffee. Can you see the head on that thing? It is outstanding! As I'm recording this video, all three future markets are down about 1% and the markets are expected to open lower. Understand that buy and sell signals are not an exact science and I preface what I'm about to show you so I don't have some idiot say, Jerry said the markets are going up and it was a down day. You have to understand three things. Number one, the markets do not turn on a dime. Number two, you have to give things time to develop. And number three, things don't always go as planned. Let's take a look at the buy signals now. We're now looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average and I'm going to show you some of the custom signals that I've got programmed into my charts. We're going to start with the crash bottom and this was back in March when the markets crashed. This was the peak and what I want to show you are the blue arrows. Any of these blue arrows here, those are my custom buy signals. Any of the yellow arrows and those are circled in red, those are my sell signals. And the green arrows, these are opportunities where I may want to add to my current position. One of the things that's important to realize is whenever I have a sell signal, it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily selling. It means that that I'm not going to be buying a stock until I normally get a blue arrow. Now sometimes I will end up selling after I get a sell arrow because I'll be stopped out because of a stop loss. Now let's take a look at the different buy signals we have and you tell me how often does the market go up after I have a buy signal. Here it looks pretty good. Same thing down here we've got a really big buy signal but I wouldn't have bought this because this was a market bottom and I would have listened to my moving averages and I probably would have waited until the 20 crossed over the 50 at a minimum so I might have got back in around this time frame right here. And then again, we can look at these different buy signals and you can see that typically the market goes up after the buy signals and that's very important. And what we're looking at today are the three different buy signals I've got on each of the different markets. So for the Dow Jones Industrial, we had a sell signal right here. The markets dropped and what I want to point out is I didn't have a green light or a buy signal to get back into the markets until just two days ago. And here that signal is right here. We're now looking at the NASDAQ and once again, the blue is the buy signals. You can see the markets typically go up after I get a buy signal. We had a, the market crashed here. I did have a buy signal at this time frame, but it immediately reversed back into a sell signal. And then again, the trend continues with the buy signals. The important part here is two days ago, got a buy signal, which is a green light for me to get back into the markets. We're now looking at the S&P 500 and you'll notice the same trend after the buy arrows. Here we've got a nice long trend pointed some of them out and the green arrows are to consider adding to the positions. And here two days ago, it closed above the 20 day 50 moving average. I got a buy signal. Yesterday, the markets were down just a little bit and closed below it. And today they're gonna open even lower. I'm not worried about this yet. This is just a little bit of noise, but it's a real big deal that all three of the different markets have given me a buy signal. So this is just something that I thought you might be interested in. Let's jump into the beast mode for some side-by-side -side comparisons. And if you'd like to get a copy of today's spreadsheet, be sure to join my Patreon group. Welcome to the Beast Mode Stock Analysis. Today we're going over the top 10 solar stocks and these guys have been crushing it. We've got Vivint Solar, Sunrun, SunPower, Jinko Solar, Azure Power, Canadian Solar, Enphase Energy, Solar Edge Technologies, Sun Nova Energy, and we've got the ETF TAN. If we look at the year-to-date stock gain on this, our winner is VSLR, which is up a whopping 450%. And the average for these solar stocks is 188 
percent year to date. That is just insane. The return over three months is equally impressive. These guys are up an average of 127 percent. One of my favorites on the day is Tan. They're up 73.19 percent. And I'd also like to point out that I do currently own positions in VSLR and the ETF Tan. The earnings and growth section of Beast Mode tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And any company in red, I treat as a growth stock. If it's in yellow, it has a PE ratio of 0 to 100 or it's an ETF. And you can see where those PE ratios are coming in right here. The beast mode is color coded and blue is the most important, followed by green and then tan. Another thing I like to look at is the levered free cash flow. And this measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. That's a real important one for me. And here we can see ENPH is our strongest at 21.14%. SEDG, S-E-D-G, at 13.49%. And all of the others, they're negative, which tells us they're dependent on outside funds to run operations. That's not a good sign, and it's definitely something you want to take into consideration. And since TAN is an ETF, we don't have as much data in this beast mode because I have special beast modes for ETFs, so you can disregard anything that's a zero value for TAN. And the other thing that's really important, whenever we're looking at stocks, I love to look at the revenue growth, especially for a growth stock. If a growth stock doesn't have revenue growth, that's a red flag for me. So ENPH coming in at 78.27% would be a real plus. Another thing that would be a plus would be a company like JKS with a very low PE ratio of 8.92 and revenue growth of 25%. That's pretty cool. For the financials, we want to know if the companies run on good margins. And if a company is in red, I consider it a growth stock. So you're not expecting it to have a great operating margin. So a red number is okay, but you'd want that number to be as low as possible for companies in red. If a company is in yellow, it's got a PE ratio between 0 and 100, and I expect it to have a good operating margin. We can see these companies right here. They're all positive. Anything above 10% is good, and our strongest one by far is AZRE. Of course, CSIQ, ENPH, and SEDG are no slouches, and they're doing okay as well. The balance sheet tells us whether or not a company is financially stable, and I like to look at the assets to liabilities ratio. The higher that number is, the better. Our strongest is Solar Edge Technologies with a 2.35 and that's because their total assets are 1.6 billion and their total liabilities are 681 million. For profitability, it's all about the net income margin and our winner in this category is also ENPH coming in at a very impressive 23.49%. Also of note would be SEDG coming in at 10.89%. We're now in phase two of the beast mode analysis where we look at valuations, price targets, and analyst sentiment. I'd encourage you to pause the page and check out the intrinsic value, the analyst target mean price, and look over the analyst recommendations. And our last stop is going to be the Piotrowski score. And this helps to find companies with healthy liquid balance sheets, profitability, and operating efficiency. Here we want that number to come in at five or higher. We can see Run is coming in very weak with a one. We do have VSLR, which is just below that five with a four. And I do currently own that stock, so that didn't stop me from buying it. It's just one reference point that you want to check. And our strongest out of all of these stocks is SEDG coming in at a strong eight. Let's take a quick look at the Weeble charts for some technical analysis and when's a good time to be buying these stocks. This chart is from Weeble Desktop and it's 100% free even if you don't have a Weeble account. The link to Weeble Desktop is in the description below and Weeble right now has a special going on for the next two weeks where if you fund the account with $100, you get two free stocks up to $1,600. Be sure to check that out. For the charts, the blue line is the 20-day moving average, the red, the 50, and the white is the 200. We can see that VSLR is in a very nice upward trend and anytime it's touched that 20-day moving average, it's gone up very nicely nicely. It did break below it once here. It recovered well, and it's currently at a new high, and this is what I call too much too fast, and that would be a little bit of a concern for me. There's two ways you could play this stock right now. One would be for it to wait to come back down to close to that 20-day moving average, and that would be your safest play, or if you wanted to play a breakout, you could play it anytime now. Although the way this candle looks, it would give me reason for pause on a breakout play. For BSLR, this is where I had my buy signal. I bought it on the next day, and you can see that I've been right this very well. And I wanted to point this out here because I bought, it went up one day, then it went down two or three days, and you can see what it's done since then. And from earlier in today's video, I covered the three buy signals that we had, and it could very well be similar to this. The buy signal happens, we get a few days that are a little bit off, and then hopefully the markets are going to take off in an upward direction just like VSLR did. And the analysts currently have VSLR rated as a moderate buy. 
We're now looking at Sunrun. It's got a nice upward channel, and this is what I call too much, too fast. It just reached a new high, and you can see how much distance there is between the 20-day moving average and the current price. If we go back earlier, we can see another example of too much, too fast, and what happened? Textbook. It came right down to the 20-day moving average, and then it took off again in an upward pattern. Here again, we had too much, too fast. It dropped down. A long tail can be a very bullish indicator in candlesticks, and I covered that in one of my previous videos that you should check out, and you can see it took off again. And for Sunrun, the analysts currently have it rated as a strong buy. We're now looking at Sun Power, and we can see that it goes up and down a little bit more. This is a little bit of a concern for me here, and we can also see we had a moving average crossover where the 20 crossed below the 50. That's a concern for me, and I would wait to consider getting into this stock until the 20 crosses back up over the 50. And the analysts currently have this one rated as a hold, to which I would agree. We're now looking at Jinko Solar, and damn, look at this chart. This is crazy. This is a multiple of too much, too fast. It has shot up like crazy, and you got to remember, Jinko Solar has a PE ratio of 8.92. So this is a low PE stock that is growing like crazy. In fact, their revenue growth was 25.03%. When I see something like this, I always want to check the news to know what's going on. And they recently partnered with Japan's biggest oil refinery, and they're going to be building virtual power plants on top of gas stations. So they're in the news right now. Big things are happening. I would only trade this stock as a day trader right now because of the volatility, but I would definitely watch it. And when it dropped back down near that 20-day moving average, and things got back to normal, consider buying. Another thing to note here is you can see the volume has shot up like crazy. So here's a stock you probably didn't know about, but you might want to watch it. And analysts currently have this rated as a strong buy. Zor Power is in a nice upward trend right here. Recent high, too much, too fast, drop back down, hit that 20-day moving average, perfect time to get in. And it's off to the races again. And the analysts have it rated as a strong buy. Canadian Solar is a stock I've made money with. We can see they're in an upward channel. They shot up, dropped back down, and with where they are right now, this is currently a pass for me. I'm a little bit concerned because it's got a double top forming, so if it doesn't break past that 34.87 and hold, I wouldn't be getting into the stock. If it does break past that, you could play it as a breakout, or you could wait for it to get back down near that 20-day moving average as a safer play, and the analysts currently have it rated as a moderate buy. Enphase Energy is a stock that I like from a fundamental standpoint. They've got a P.E. ratio of 60, and their revenue growth was the best out of the ones we looked at with 78.27. However, when I look at the charts, I'm not as excited because I like a steady upward trend that I'm not seeing here. Yesterday, it did reach a new high, which is a good sign, but it's showing a little bit of weakness with the way the candles look right now, and I'd wait for it to hold over that. Actually, I'd completely pass on this stock. There's just better options available in solar for me. That being said, the analysts, they love it, and they've got it as a strong buy. We're now looking at Solar Edge Technologies, and the fundamentals look good on it, and it has a revenue growth of 45%, which I like. Their PE ratio is 66.94. The charts look pretty good. It's in a nice upward trend, although it did have a double top, which is a bearish sign. It dropped, which is to be expected, and now it's trying to get to a new top. Right now, I would call this a triple top, which is still bearish unless it can hold and continue to go up. And again, because of that distance between the 20-day moving average, this is a stock I would currently pass on unless I was day trading because of the volatility. The analysts have this one as a moderate buy. Sun Nova has been in an upward trend. It recently had a moving average crossover, and I would wait for the 20-day to cross back over before the 50 before being interested, and the analysts have it rated as a strong buy. Our last stock is the ETF TAN, and it's currently in a beautiful upward trend. We can tell that it's been traveling on that 20-day moving average, touch, shot up, touched or almost touched, shot back up, dropped down below, back up, and here it is shooting up again. This is a stock that I absolutely love, and I also own it. This is where I bought the stock at, and then you can see what it's done since then. It shot up beautifully. Um, what more can I say? It's a great stock. Now, it's not going to give you the crazy gains of something like VSLR, which I also own. That stock is up 450%, but this stock is up 103% this year. It's an ETF. ETF, it's more stable, which I like, and it's got less risk. And right now it has a 100% buy rating based on 13 indicators. Hey, if you guys are digging these charts, be sure to let me know in the comments down below as well. Thanks.
This is a really big day for me, and I hope you check out my No Hype Zone Discord channel. I'm really expecting there to be a lot of intelligent conversations on Discord that'll help make you money and a better investor. My patrons got access yesterday, and winning trades are already being discussed in the Patreon channel. If you'd like to get a copy of the Beast Mode spreadsheet or join the Patreon member-only channel, be sure to check out my Patreon page. If you want a copy of my Beast Mode spreadsheet, it's available on my Patreon page, and there's a special bonus section with valuable information just for Patreons. The cost is only $20 per month, and it's packed with value to help make you a better investor. Investor. If this video helped you out and you want to see more, be sure to give me some YouTube love and drop a comment down below if you've got any questions or ideas for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today, sending love your way, and I'll see you soon on a fresh new video.